Listen, savers are losers, and I'm going to tell you why. We're going to unpack that in this video. All right, now, first of all, congratulations if you are a saver. I'm not poo-pooing on you at all. I'm actually celebrating you because you have learned financial stewardship enough to where you're able to go out, live below your means, um, and as your income increases, you're able to put some away. And that's a phenomenal thing. I forget what the percentage is, but there's a very large percentage of Americans that do not have an emergency fund, and you've done better than them by being able to put away more funds um, beyond your emergency. The problem though is you're losing money every year to try, you're not deploying that money, okay? Now I wanna talk specifically to those that have money saved up that either one, have been saving up for their first investment property in real estate, or two, they just don't know where to deploy that, that capital. And so it's just sitting in the bank while inflation being 10%, you know, you got a hundred grand in there, you got $90,000 worth of purchasing power because the value of the dollar continues to decrease uh, as inflation rises and as the government continues to print more money. And not only that, but the bank is trading your money multiple times a week, leveraging your money to, to lend to other people and everybody else is making money except for you. You're the only one losing money. So we need to change that today, okay? But that's why I say the savers are losers, okay? So looking at the the idea of wanting to invest in real estate and traditionally speaking, most people try to save up what they think is enough to invest. And that's probably the first mistake that people make because why are you doing that, right? We're doing it because we don't know any other way. So the purpose of this video is to show you a different way and a better way that myself and my students, I teach people all over the globe how to build six and seven figure real estate businesses in a matter of 12 months doing exactly what I'm about to tell you, okay? So if you if you want me to continue to bring you more information like this, please just click the subscribe button and follow. The purpose of this channel is to enlighten people like yourselves on how you can start to diversify yourself, whether you're at work, small business owner, um, large business owner, a practitioner of some sort of trading time for money. Like this channel is specifically designed for you guys, okay? I was in corporate America and, you know, 10, 12 years I was there and um, was always looking for like the relief valve to get out, right? Not because I didn't make good money in corporate, but because I knew I had a lot more capacity, I had a lot more purpose in life. And quite honestly, I got tired of asking to, to, to attend my kids' events and things with my spouse and, you know, putting in for vacation time, et cetera. And I, I know I don't need to bore y'all with the details because y'all get it. But let's get back to what do you do with the savings that you have, right? How do you start investing in real estate without having to have all the money to do so? It's called the power of leverage, okay? So what you're gonna do, if you have 50, 100K or otherwise, sitting in the bank losing money, rather than wait until you have 100, 200,000 to go and buy a property, you can go and buy that 100, $200,000 property with just putting 20% down. So let's just say if you got a hundred grand for for simple math, right? And you're you're looking at a property that's a hundred thousand dollars, okay? Um, you deploy that capital, right? So you you buy the property for a hundred thousand. Let's just say you rent the thing out for, you know, fifteen hundred bucks a month, okay? That's actually a really good deal now that I think about it. So let's just say at the end of the year, you know, fifteen, twelve, you know, for simple math. Let's just say you make what seventeen, eighteen thousand dollars in the span of twelve months. So your gross return on investment is eighteen percent. That's really good, right? But let me show you how it gets even better. If you take that same ideology, right, deploying capital into real estate for the purposes of cash flow, but now instead of you having your hundred thousand dollars tied up in that one property, you go to a, a asset based lender or a bank and they give you 80% of the amount that you need to purchase this property. Now that same $100,000, you split that into five parts. You put 20,000 down on five properties and all of a sudden your, your return is exponentially more because you got less money into each deal. And not only that, you've mitigated your risk and your exposure because now you've spread that out over multiple properties rather than if you got all that money in one property and something goes wrong, God forbid, then you're exposed on that one property. So the power of leverage not only accelerates and put velocity on your dollars, 
but it also helps you to mitigate your risk because you're diversified even in your investment approach. Does that make sense? So this is how people like myself who own over 100 apartment units, um, done over 100 fix and flip and wholesale deals, is predominantly because I understand you know, how to leverage other people's money. And quite honestly, let me tell y'all the real truth. 90 plus percent of my deals, as well as my students, we don't even use our money, like at all. That 20% I was referring to, like we go and raise that from and create partnerships to where we bring in other people's capital. So we have private lending and we have uh, asset-based lending, put the two together, that's 100% of the money that we needed. All we do is go out and get very diligent at finding good deals, underwriting good deals, and presenting those to you know people in the marketplace to come in and participate, right? So that's a whole nother video for another day, but I just want to give you that additional insight that you could get yourself to a point where if you really learned this business and learn how to go out and create partnerships and raise capital and what to say to people and when to say it, how to say it, why you say it, um, if you do all of those things, you can absolutely go out and build your businesses as large as you would like to, okay? But let's just talk about getting money unstuck, right, and deploying it into an asset. So if you look at that, let's just say that, you know, say you got a hundred grand, but you really want a $200,000 property, right? Say your market gives you um, those kind of looks and you've been, you've been waiting to save up for this 200,000. Well, I hope that you can still apply that same concept of what I just showed you um, to that scenario, right? So let's just say at 200,000, you got to put down 20%. So you only have a hundred thousand. You can't afford the two hundred thousand dollar house, but can you? Right? If you only got to take forty of that, and you use um, forty of that for a twenty percent down payment, you can't afford that house. So for many people, and I see this more often than not, they have done a phenomenal job, like yourselves, at saving capital. Either one, they don't know where to deploy it, or two. They have this this misnomer of I gotta have all the money to to buy the property, right? And that's just not true. And the reality is, wealth is built in America. Wealth America is a debtor system, which means that you build wealth through debt. Now, the, the the key is good debt, right? All consumer debt is bad. I subscribe to Dave Ramsey's theory in that regard. Um, all consumer debt is bad. We need to avoid it at all costs. But there is a thing called good debt. And that's the catalyst to building wealth. And there's a ton of people, a ton of institutions um, in the private sector and the public sector that would love to lend you money for the purposes of you going out making money and also helping them make money in the process. That's what makes the world go round. So I just wanted to help you guys get unstuck. If you found this video to be helpful, please send it to somebody, share it with someone. That's the purpose of it, right? I'm not doing this for me, I'm doing this for you. And um, turn your notifications on, hit that bell icon in the top. And uh, if you didn't subscribe, go ahead and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you guys in more videos.